Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part one video on Angular 14 JWT access token for authentication and refresh token. So in this video series, we are going to implement an Angular application with JWT authentication. And we also use refresh token whenever the JWT token expires to renew it. Okay. So in general, JWT token is a encrypted string, but it is made up of three components like header, payload, signature. So as a UI developer, you no need to know all these things, but it is better to have an idea how JWT token is framed. Okay. So in general, header will contain the type of algorithm and type that determines what type of token it is. Okay. And the payload contains all the claims of the authenticated user like email, username, user ID, phone number, all kind of user information can be stored in the payload. Okay. Signature. Signature is the type of encryption that has been used for creating the token. Okay. So basically the string what we see as a JWT token is comprised of all these three ingredients. Okay. So let's create a sample Angular 14 application and try to implement the JWT authentication. Okay, here is the Angular CLI command for creating the project. So CLI command is like ng space new space name of your project. So enter to create the project. And while creating project, it asks us whether to include the Angular routing or not. Please say yes because I'm going to use some uh, lazy loading modules in this sample. Okay. And I am going to choose the normal styling that is CSS. Project created successfully. Let open my project in Visual Studio Code Editor. So here is our Angular project. Okay, which is 14. You can check the version in package.json file. Okay. And now Let's try to install the bootstrap package into our application so that we can consume the bootstrap component for developing a sample application. Go to bootstrap. Okay. And go to the home page first. And here you can see the command for installing the latest version of the bootstrap package. So let me copy the command. Open my terminal. OK, install the bootstrap. So after completion of installing bootstrap, we have to configure the bootstrap CSS and JS reference file into the Angular JSON file. OK, go to Angular JSON file. So here in the styles array, add the reference of the bootstrap. Okay, same way we have to reference JS file as well in the scripts array. Okay, now let me add the bootstrap navbar as a menu item in my application. So go to bootstrap website, go to docs, and go to the component section. 
and go for nav bar okay and let me copy this nav bar and what i will do go to app component.html where it contains the entry html default html so let's replace replace everything here okay replace now okay so container fluid you can check these styles will available in bootstrap okay and now bar brand i want to anchor tag like awt auth demo and it should be like a my home navigation router link and it should display like a brand okay like a header like a logo now bar brand class i can apply okay so now let's run the application and check so open terminal ng sir and you can access our sample application at localhost 4200 and you can now see nice bootstrap menu applied to our website okay uh, now what i want to do is this is my home page url right so i want to create a one simple home component angular component like home that contains a simple welcome message so my main idea is this home page either user is authenticated or not authenticated any kind of user can use this page like a guest page okay anyone can consume the home page that is the ideal goal so for that uh, let me create a simple component home component okay so for creating the component ng generate component and my component name is home i don't want any spec files okay now run this cli command okay now home component got created in app routing let me configure the home component as the home route okay so path okay that is home path component home component okay and in the home component dot html let's add some welcome message something like welcome message okay i have already prepared some bootstrap html only okay so copying that code snippet paste it here if you want pause the video and you can type and a uh, card now if i go to the website see i got nice welcome card right so this is my home page so anyone can access this home page regarding regardless of whether the user is authenticated or non-authenticated okay. now i want to create a login form okay so i don't want to create a login uh <clears throat> component directly because in real example along with login there are several different steps my that may include with login like registration like this process okay so what i will do i just create one module future module which i want to load lazily inside of that future module i want a component like login component okay so first let me create create a new future component or child com sorry new future module or child child module okay so ng generate module okay and auth module name 
okay i want routing as well for my child module okay so you can give flag like hyphen hyphen routing so run it okay so if i check here i can see auth module got created with the routing module file as well now in this module i want a login component okay so let me create a new component that is login inside of the future module that is auth module okay so ng generate component where i want to create inside of the auth right so auth auth folder name folder name module folder name and name of the component name of the component is login okay and i don't want any spec files i have created the login component as well now what i will do i will go to first i will go to app routing module i just want to enable the uh, lazy loading module level okay so the so path contains auth then load children okay arrow function import auth auth module okay we configure our module for lazy loading now go to auth routing module here we have to configure the a uh, login component route okay so path like login and component like login component okay now in login component html we have to create a simple login form and then we have to call an api to get the authenticate authentication token which is a jwt access token as well as the refresh token but how we can get okay for that i have created a one mock api repository in my github okay so that api uh, created with framework nest.js which is a uh, framework that builds on node.js means nothing but a node js application okay so this is my github link and if you go to my repositories and here you can find nest js jwt auth mock api if you click on it here is the documentation i have is fed everything step by step let's go through them first thing is you have to clone this project because i have i have created the mock jwt sample node server application okay after installing after cloning this project you should contains the nest js framework in your application for that please make sure to run this command by opening the command prompt anywhere so this will install nest js cli globally into your local machine okay next after installing after completion of nest js installation go to this repository root folder and again open the terminal and run npm install that going to pull all required packages required by this nest.js application okay once that is done we have to start the server so command to start the server is npm run start colon dev you need to specify same command in the terminal so that nest.js application starts running so now it is available for 
uh, using for JWT authentication. Okay. Next, here is the login endpoint. Okay. Which one we have to use in our Angular application. And here is the payload, username and password. Okay, this property means exactly use this only. Because server, if you change one character, server can't recognize the their query parameters, right? Their payload parameters. So we cannot change these uh, property characters. So use exactly them. And for testing, use username equal to test and password is one, two, three, four. Okay, this, this is the hard coded credentials that was using by this application. Okay, use this one. Once you successful, you get access token and refresh token as a response. Okay. And if you want by default, 1800 seconds to access token is active. That means 30 minutes. But we are learners. We want to test refresh token, right? We cannot wait for 30 that sorry 30 minutes uh, uh, to to learn about the refresh token right so what you can do means in this project go inside of src in the auth folder inside of the auth dot module dot ts file there is a configuration like this okay jwt module registration there you can change these seconds like you give like 60 S means 60 seconds, one minute. So token will be expired in one minute so that you can test refresh token uh, logic immediately. Okay. So refresh token endpoint is this one. Here for refresh token, you should send both expired access token and refresh token value as an input parameter. Once they are valid, this endpoint going to give the new access token and new refresh token as a response. Okay, so this is about the response token endpoint. And finally, we we have to use some secure endpoint, right? I have created something like favorite movies, which is a secure endpoint. Means if you want to consume this endpoint, you should have a uh, JWT access token as a request header as a authorization header to the request then only you can get a response like this something like movie name and the genre okay so that's about the uh my mock nest.js application okay so now we are going to next we have to implement the login and we have to consume this endpoints okay i hope this video delivered some useful information to you all. If you like my video, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Soon we are going to meet with new videos. Until then, signing off.